So hello and welcome back to Test Drive Thursday. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're taking a look at a Scania Touring Coach. Now I don't think I've ever done a coach on um, Test Drive Thursday, but as there was like a lack of truck mods, I thought why not, let's just give it a go and see how it is. And so far this has been a lot of fun. So let's get started by taking a look at all of the customization. Okay then, so here we are inside the truck configurator. Now, um, basically it's a little bit confusing uh, because the sort of um, door changes um, either side when you um, choose UK or, or basically left hand drive or right hand drive. Um, it's actually out here that you get to choose which uh, sort of side you want it. So obviously UK side door is on the left because you pull up on the left where so this would be where the path is. But if you go for the right hand drive the door will be this side because you pull up on the right obviously. Um, so that's the changes as you can see. Um, and also like this sort of chair here on the inside where the, um, not commentator, what do you call it, tour guide sits. Uh, so chassis 6 by 2 it's got rear steer which is pretty useful. Uh, engines, we've got 2 Euro 6, well I say 2 Euro 6s. I can't tell any different. They've got like a different name. Uh, the DC13115410, DC13124410. They're both Euro 6. Uh, 410, uh, 2100 newton meters. 410, 2100 newton meters. They're the same price, so no idea what's the difference. You've also got this Euro 5, which has got 30, 30 more horsepower, but the exact same amount of torque. So I think I'll just go with this one. Um, it's pr plenty powerful enough for a coach, I have to say that. Two, uh, two different gearboxes to choose from. Um, you've got an 8-speed retarder or 12-speed retarder. Now, I'm playing this realistic, so I'm going to use a automatic box. So I'm pretty sure this wouldn't be a manual in real life. Uh, but it's a bit sort of disappointing, the automatic. It's really, show really slow to sort of react to like your... Uh, input and everything so it's not the best auto but I'd like to play it realistic if this is auto only on the interior uh, you can't really change much in here as I said apart from the left and right hand drive but it is pretty detailed in here I mean look at the steps down here the doors really nice uh, the seats are actually pretty good I mean look at that they've got like footrests down there which is really nice um, up here you got all the aircon sort of vent but they, that seems miles away all the way up there uh, all the buttons down here look pretty good uh, you got your parking brake uh, that's a restart retarder stalk uh, front view camera I would have loved it if that was a rear view camera instead of a front uh, that make reversing so much easier I mean you got the mirrors here but a reversing camera would be really good uh, but anyway paint jobs now, when you've got the left-hand drive version, you've got all of these paint jobs. I mean, we've got uh, Flixbus. Uh, take a while to load. Uh, there we go, Flixbus. We're used to that. Uh, Fernbus, sorry. Um, yeah, you've got all these. Quite a good range, actually. But when you go for the right-hand drive, and now this is what I really like. Um, wait a minute. Right hand drive. Hang on. Maybe we have to go for a standard colour. And then go right hand drive. Yeah, there it's switched. Um now we've only got two because these like these are um especially designed for the UK one. I mean this one's from North Wales. Uh Pat's Coaches. I feel like I've heard of that company before. Then we've also got uh Bayless Executive Travel Limited, ten years. I'm not sure where this one's from, but we've got a phone number on the back, we've got a website. Pretty cool, isn't it? I love that. And it also paints the grill here. I don't know if you could see that. Um, so, yeah, it's up to you what you're up to. You've also got Bayless Executive Travel written on the windscreen. The accessories, there's not a lot in here, to be honest. Uh, you can put this on here, but do you really see a coach with a light bar on it? Um, there you can sort of change the uh, grill. We've got matte paint or gloss. Uh, I think the gloss looks a lot better. Uh, you change your wheels. Um, if you go to the hub cover, 
you've got a special Scania hub cover which uh, looks very authentic, a lot like a coach isn't it, it also works for the rear wheel uh, but I'll go for that, looks very nice um, not sure what that dot does uh, that's the mud flap but only on the front oh no sorry there is one on the back as well so you got mud flaps there for £44 uh, you got the passengers so you can chuck them in like that I don't think you can go and pick the passengers up um, like a delivery that you would in like a normal truck uh, but you can put their <laughs> you can put them in for £44 I guess uh, flag of Indonesia a bit random um, if you've got the sort of mighty griffin pack you'll be able to put all Scania uh, lights and stuff on but I don't have that um, what we got here exactly the same here uh, you've got the mirrors here change the colour or style of them not sure if they're indicators uh, I guess they are uh, but yeah that's up to you um, you can remove this text or add it if you want I'm probably going to remove it if I go for this uh, this skin uh, you got the sort of visor here that you can add in um, and that is pretty much it I think there isn't much more configuration than that uh, no dots around there that I can see uh, the front camera you can't edit uh, you can change the wheel uh, sat nav you'll need that because this is obviously the front camera uh, you can put some stuff on the dash but I don't think I'd bother um, stuff up there that's the text uh, sunscreen um, <laughs> put a hanging item up there if you want flag of Indonesia again um, what's that oh, you got your bag but yeah, that's it for the customization. I don't think I'm going to do a time lapse because it's not really worth it, is it really? It's not enough configuration worthy to do that. This is all about the driving, so let's get straight to it. Now, I thought we'd do something a bit different today. I'm actually in Pro Mods uh, version 2.3 in London, uh, and as you sort of may have heard, they have completely redone London. So I thought we'd go on a sort of tour today as we are in a coach something a bit different don't really get an opportunity to do this but i'll quickly show the outside you probably saw the uh, sort of drls turn on there very very smart almost a truck then but no it's a coach isn't it um all these sort of chrome hub covers look really nice the chrome badging on the side this skin works really well with it it's actually high quality around the back i mean all the led lights LEDs for days uh, look very very cool um, on the inside on the inside I have to say it is quite dark in here it's like the windscreen sort of fades to sort of dark at the bottom it's a bit weird um, very very tall obviously uh, you got like a screen up there um, looking back she looks a bit weird to be honest oh look at that if you look far left in the screen when I zoom in so the back of the coach disappears uh, but anyway we've got the front camera and uh, it's basically like the same as like an old gen Scania same dials and everything so fairly familiar uh, I'll turn the side lights on like that um, we've got the parking brake just turn it on very quiet it's 440 engine parking brake off uh, using it in auto I can't see like a gear selector in here or anything um, but oh there there's one there it's not animated though so it is an auto um, yeah let's get going there's nothing really much else to it pulls away just fine got the mate we got that um, window down there like a McLaren Center I guess um, but yeah you can see how much brighter it is on that screen compared to uh, this view now sort of early warning London is very detailed now in pro mod so there is quite a bit of lag I have uh, sort of moved down from the ultra draw distance death file to the high one uh, to try and improve the frames a bit but to be honest I can't really tell a difference um, but yeah let's go on a bit of a tour it is a bit weird sitting sort of level with the traffic 
Might just turn that onto side lights if it'll let me. Come on, there we go. Um, obviously in a truck you feel much higher up, but with this, much lower. I like how it steers. Obviously we're sitting in front of the front wheels or front axle, so you sort of pan across the road. Uh, it's kind of a unusual sort of feeling when you get going, but you get used to it. And it's actually quite easy to manoeuvre on the road after a while. I have to say though, this handles better than all of the coaches in Fernbus. I mean, the last time I played that game, oh, they just drove awfully. Just the steering, you know, sort of tilting effect was horrible. I have sort of noticed this has got its own physics, which is really nice. Uh, you probably see it when we're moving about and outside. Look, look at that! Look at that! That is completely new. Uh, it's really well done, actually. Uh, I've got to watch where the sun of is taking us. Because it is kind of small down there, but yeah, it's really, really good. The physics on this. Wasn't expecting it when I first went for a drive in it. Yeah, the frames are horrible. 20 FPS? This has not been optimised very well. You know, I've got like a GTX 1080 and it's killing it here. But yeah, easy jet. Easy jet sign. But it's really easy to manoeuvre on the road. Obviously the mirrors in front of you so you can just glance at them. Uh, it doesn't feel that big to be honest. Uh, I think I need to get into the left lane. What's he doing? I mean, yeah, look at the steering here. Really, really good. I just love all the LEDs at the back. So many of them. Looks really smart. But yeah, let's carry on down here. Hopefully the frames will pick up for a bit. Haven't played with 30 FPS for a long while. But it is really smooth, this. I like the power delivery. Like when you put your foot all the way down, it doesn't sort of give it you all at one go, like a V8 Scania or something. It sort of gradually builds, obviously, to improve uh, passenger comfort and things like that. Uh, it's just really, really well done. I don't think I've ever tried a coach mod, because uh, I always thought they're going to be a bit rubbish. But to be honest, this is better than most truck mods. I mean, we've got a front-facing camera, which is just cool, really, isn't it? As I said, I would love to it um, have been a rear view camera, just to get to uh, see everyone behind, um, and it make it a lot easier for reversing. I mean, look at that, we've got a London bus, look at that, awesome. But yeah, if I put my foot all the way down, like you see the gearbox just not knowing what to do, 30 kph, 40, I've just noticed. I've got a right-hand drive truck, uh, right-hand drive truck, right-hand drive coach, yet the speedo is still in kilometres per hour. That's a bit odd. Uh, what lane do I need to be in? I mean, probably right-hand lane. <laughs> I'm in the wrong lane. But I'm bigger than these cars, so let's barge them out the way. Yeah, I'm in the wrong lane. What a fail. Let me in, Jaguar. them it is really useful having the rear steering if I didn't have that it would make it quite difficult around some of these roundabouts especially when the cars are sort of so close I'm really impressed with this skin though I mean even when you come up close to it it's really nicely done look at it when I went on a sort of scout trip it was about 10 days, I think. We went to Kandersteg in Switzerland. Uh, we actually went on a Scandi coach, which is pretty cool. This was about 2014. Um, I think it was like the previous gen to this one, but I just, I just thought it was really cool. Like playing in, obviously, Eurotruck back then, driving this generation of Scandi. Obviously, there wasn't the new gen, uh, but the internals are pretty much exactly the same and I thought that was so cool like seeing 
uh, seeing them all getting on and off the coach, being so familiar with them in the game. It's kind of nice. But I do guess that um, with the new gen Scania, maybe there's going to be sort of a new coach with all new internals sort of matching the quality of the uh, new Scania. I don't know. Blackwall Tunnel. Right, going straight through. So, uh, 50 miles an hour. Get to stretch the legs a bit. I've noticed the gearing sort of set up for lower speeds. I mean, we're in 12th gear now. And we're doing 50 miles an hour. you got to watch out for that. Oh, I oh, thought it was getting me go left then. Here we go. I love how they've added all these landmarks. Obviously, Blackwall Tunnel, quite a famous tunnel. Um, I think we go past King's Cross Station in a bit. So, look, look out for that. Why is this guy going so slow? Such a good looking coach though, isn't it? Oh, going this way. <laughs> it does make you think how little work SCS really has to do to put coaches into Eurotruck. I mean, they don't even have to make a new game. It could be just like a DLC or something, because this is pretty much there, really, isn't it? You've just got to find a way of putting passengers onto the bus, onto the coach, sorry. And that's it. I mean... This is pretty good. Yeah, we got the gherkin just behind that building. Hopefully we'll start to see some landmarks and do some of... Oh, oh that was close. Do a bit of tour guarding. But yeah, there's the gherkin. building site there. It'd be cool if we sort of come back in six months real time and they that's like a finished building or something. Bit of a canal or something. Bus lane. I mean we're a coach so maybe we can drive in that but I don't think so. This is a cool little bridge here with like a grassy path going over the top. And it is massive though isn't it this? Not sure how I'd feel driving this through London. I just love the steering. It's done so well. So easy to place on the road. I just wish the gearbox was a bit smoother. Right, I believe this is King's Cross now. The station. There we go. I think night oh, indicator. I think nineteen eighty seven there was a big fire there. Underground. Nice little park there. Right, so where are we going next? It is cool that Pro Mods have added all this. I mean we don't sort of get to drive into cities like this with SCS. They just sort of do all the outskirts now, but this is really cool. I think some of the buildings are a bit low res and sort of copied from other places. I mean, they don't quite line up their look, uh, which sort of ruins the effect, but it is pretty nice. It's just very, very frame heavy. I've noticed that quite a lot with the Pro Mods in general uh, in this version. A lot of. Uh, frame lag. Right, where are we going now? Knightsbridge. Look at that going down there. World of truck sign. Gotta lean back for that camera of sort of keep sort of leaning too far forward. I believe that's Marble Arch. that down there? Is that the Mao? 
or meant to be, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Then we're going left here as well. Oh, I see the gearbox. Make your mind up. Now what lane do I need to be in? This one, I think. Some kind of weird sculpture there, pop art sculpture. I feel like I'm going into the business district now. Just following it round to the left. We make them lights. Rubbish, I got through there. Feels like we should have a bit more traffic though. I mean, <laughs> London like this. Maybe at like 4am, but <laughs> yeah, we need a lot more traffic. But then again, I don't think the AI can even deal with that much traffic. Right, let's carry on on our tour in the Scania Touring Coach. Oh, nice building there. Here we are, I think we're going over the Thames now. Opening up. Look at this. Oh, that's loading in a bit. Look at that, the skyline, London Eye. Westminster, Westminster Bridge there. Big Ben. Shard over there. It's got it all. Pretty cool, I have to say. Need to be in this lane. <laughs> I'm in the wrong lane again. Not paying attention. Yeah, look at the turning circle on this. Amazing. It's just the frames are terrible. I don't think it's the coach's fault. I just think it's uh, London. It's been done so detailed. sure what that is. Oh no, it's the rail for the sun visors. I think if we turn the beacon on, then you get all the interior lighting. So yeah, in general, I definitely recommend you giving this a go. It's a bit of fun. Um, obviously the game isn't really designed for coaches, but it definitely works. And it is uh, just a bit of fun, as I said. around here. I think we're going to finish off at Aldi. A bit random, but there you go. Get to park up. Look at that, how bouncy it is. I've sort of noticed, even when you do come to a stop, and a stop for a while, the coach is still bouncing around, which is a bit weird. But yeah, let's turn in here and go and park up at the end to finish off our tour. Is it? There's the parking place. Look at that, the turning circle. Back we go. I mean, look how bouncy it is. There we go. In fact, did the camera just change? No, it's just my imagination. So there we are. If you enjoyed that video, which I hope you did, please do give me a like, subscribe for more, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.